Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Sly Cooper, and today we're going to go back into the next world like I was last time. If we can get my way back over there this time again. Let's see what happens. Let's speed it up real quick so I can make these long stakeouts go by faster, as the game did say. Sorry if my enthusiasm, or should I say my loudness from Crash Team Racing didn't necessarily carry over from Crash Team Racing, but... Don't beckon on the fact that I don't like this game. I do like this game a lot. So we're missing one key. Okay. I, I just like to keep it kind of quieter with my voice so I don't blow it out for once in my life. I, I don't want to be like, you know, those super famous YouTubers and scream all the time. No, no, no. I just want to be like normal Mr. Alex doing Let's Plays here. For basically no reason, but you know, I, I do it for fun. Well, I guess that's a reason enough, right? Uh, have we gone in this world yet? Or level, I should say. We probably did. I don't even remember myself. Yeah, I probably should have used, like, stealth right there, but I was just being too much of an idiot to do that. You will notice I probably will use uh, the fast forward button quite a lot, just because, just as it does say, it does kind of save you time and, and trouble. Especially for those long missions, you know. I don't even know if we've gone there yet. I'll try not to use it as much, I guess, but... Oh yeah, we oh yeah, we haven't gotten to this one yet. Two to tango. Like, this isn't, um... Well, I'm supposed to go to yet, is it? No, no, no it's not. I know exactly why they call this two to tango. Yeah. I remember now. I'm like, no, this could be Mugshot already, could it? It's not, believe me. It's anything far from Mugshot right now. You guys have to see in a minute what I'm talking about. See, I could easily screw myself up right there, too. Well, 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 look who just walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. Okay, so... Just like before, she's pretty much gonna miss every single shot, so there's really no reason to worry. At least it gives me a horseshoe just in case. She did kinda need that. Okay. We need to get all these clues and hopefully one go. I think we can go back, but I'd rather not. If I probably could go back. Which kinda looks like it to me. I don't know. I I'd just rather get all the the clues, I guess, in one one jip here. Okay. Yeah, I, it's possible that she probably is missing on purpose, though, too. That's what a lot of people like to assume. That maybe she might be doing it on purpose. And again, we don't know yet. And I don't know yet, exactly. I like to pretend like I don't know. Which I kind of do and I kind of don't, but... I mean, if it happens in Sly 3, then I probably haven't really seen much of anything. I haven't really seen much of Sly 3 yet, though. Which I probably need to check out a little bit of to see what it's kind of like. I'm playing Sly 2 for a while right now, and it, it's been still going on. So. It's kind of a longer game than this one. Yeah, it's not... Well, it's better than this one, but just, to me, I like this one because of its gameplay, though. I mean, this is quite, you know, fun. I like this whole platforming business going on here. Unlike in the, the second one where it's just... It, it's world, but you, you do missions inside the world, which is pretty cool, which makes more sense in this. Rather than go to, like, a world and do these, you know, levels or something like that. But it just doesn't feel the same. Yes, I don't know. I like this one a lot. And for good reason, I guess. Because this is a good game, so, you know. But like I said before, a long time ago, when I used to see it a lot, it really looked weird, and I just... 
kind of stayed away from the game for a long time, though, too. All things considered. Is there spotlights over there? Not spotlights, but guards. Behind them and take them out that way. There will be, like, a takedown move in the second one, though, that will allow us to get from behind them and take them out that way. I don't think there really was one in this one. We need to get into that safe. Well, first of all, we need to get to that safe. Oh, there we go. We got them all. Sweet. That was easy. Try five, three, two. Gotcha. Boom. What is our next upgrade? The reason why I didn't like upload yesterday was because playing Borderlands all day. So now we got the blue shots for Muck Shots additions to Mesa City, which is also I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look through your Binocucom to get the information. Alright, sweet. Now we got the blueprints to Mesa City and we should be good to go from then on. I think we've probably beaten pretty much every level up till now anyway, so... Maybe, I think we're missing like a few levels. Possibly. I don't exactly know. I'll have to go back and check on that one. Again, even if you speed it up, it does not help you with time trials. It just kind of helps you, you know, speed things up. That's kind of the point. I mean, you probably could do like time trials with it on still. If you kind of know how to maneuver correctly and stuff like that. If you try not to screw yourself up. But I, I don't know exactly how to do time trials the best way. I've never really beaten one before. They just even for the first level, it was just extremely difficult for me for some reason. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever. Whew. There we go, we beat that level. Got the key. And is that the last level, maybe? I really need to find out where these blueprint things are first. Actually, I don't think I need to, because if I get all the clues without it, I'm pretty much good to go. Oh, wow. Well, it was the last key. Okay. Before we go, let's make sure we get all the safes. Yes. No. Didn't have one. Didn't have one. Still missing one at the rocky start. I think you can actually teleport to, uh, to these levels. Like, whenever you beat them, whenever you get the keys to the levels, you can actually teleport to the levels and stuff like that. And, that I find pretty cool. Very helpful, though. So there's one in there. We're missing how many? Well, the game probably won't tell us, but... I'm sure we're missing, like, one or two more, maybe. We'll find out when we break it. Oh, yeah, that's right. we got to hit the switch first. Man, now we got to go through the whole level. And then we got to find the, the safe. And all that other good stuff. Is it that? Oh, no, there's... A few over there. Which I see right now. Oh, that's the reason why I probably couldn't get them, because... That went the wrong way last time. Okay, we got all 40. Now, the safe... I don't exactly remember where it was at, though. I think it was, like, way ahead, though. Way up there somewhere. Should be able to tell us. I know it's telling us where all the breakable stuff is at, but I don't remember where this... The safe, I think, was... Like, we'll see it when we see it. It's usually in plain sight anyway. So we'll be fine. Let's keep on past these things. Pass these guys. Go behind them and take them out, because I don't want them there anyway. Okay. Let's break these bottles. Why not? I, I just want to get all the cash. Screw it. I know it's basically useless right now, but... As long as I have a lot of money right now... Or... A lot of coins right now, I should say. Then... If I get hit, we'll be fine, because I can just get a few more coins and... Get that extra horseshoe back. So far, so good. Coming in like a ninja on these guys. Speaking of ninjas, I kind of want to play Ninja Gaiden right about now. Kind of feeling the mood for that. I've been actually in the mood for it, I just... Haven't really gotten around doing it, I guess. Oh, there's that thing. Yeah, there it is. Nah, never mind. Screw it. It's a lot of coinage, though. These things remind me of those things from uh, Ratchet and Clank. 
those lottery things you have to kind of like beat up and they send you things out. Oops. Okay, there we go. Good job. Where is this safe at? I don't remember. Does that guy not remind anybody of fire at all? From Mega Man X Command Mission. I mean, seriously, just look at him. They just act the same. They throw cards and stuff. But to me, they act the same. It's kind of hard to... I'm trying to hold the controller very... Holding it very oddly. Kind of like with my finger... One finger on triangle the whole time, and the other fingers... Oh, my thumb doing the rest of the work. But, that's what you get for being a... MLG Gamer. Kinda gotta work with everything you've got. That's pretty much what I've got. Okay. Man, my finger's starting to hurt now. That's not good. That's never good. Oops. Oh yeah, this part. Oh, I love this part so much. I thought the safe was like way over here somewhere. Maybe it was. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Oops. Did not mean to get zapped. My bad on that one. See, this is why I got all those coins, because just in case, I can at least build some more up. There it is. Yeah, see, it was like right at the end of the level. I knew it. They usually are anyway. There's like a few that are probably like at the beginning. This is not one of them. 338. Well, good thing I was on my way over there. That's our next upgrade we're doing good so far, though. What did we get this time? Oh, yeah, this will come in handy. It's Suzanne Cooper's notes pertaining to water safety. This knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Oh, yeah, this one actually is going to be very useful. This is another one of the automatic uh, upgrades. Kind of like, I think there's one where you can not use a horseshoe when you fall off like a ledge or something. So now I can just pretty much jump in water all I want and be fine. Eh. Yeah, it's going by too fast. Watch how fast it goes when I speed it up. No, I don't think you actually can probably speed it up. Oops. That was bad. Bad of me. It's weird how those yellow lasers can turn into red lasers in like an instant. But anyway, we got the upgrade. I think we got everything in this level though. Everything pertaining to this level, I should say. Which... No, 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 we didn't, because we forgot a rocky start. That's the last one I have to do, I forgot. But at least you can go back and start it again. Now I just need to remember where um, the safe was, as always. So, there's a couple things... Oh, oh yeah, the safe was... Of course I think I know where it's at, but... Those last two bottles or so... Like, way down there... Yeah, see, I don't know how to get off these things fast enough to where I can do time trials fast enough. Okay. Go. Um, there's one over there, and there's one right there. Which, I wonder how I did not see that one, considering that's probably, like, right in the open anyway. This is probably, like, one of my least favorite levels right here. Uh, this little, this little area, this pre-level, I don't like this one, though. It always gave me trouble. And now I can see why. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess I just kind of completely forgot about it. Now, the thing did say that we will waste a horseshoe, or we won't waste a horseshoe if we fall in water, but that does not mean that we will not die if we don't have one. So don't think about that, you know. Don't, don't think that, though. Okay, so there's one right there, which I don't know how I missed that one. Somehow I just miss all these things. Oh, yeah, I know how I missed it. It's probably too busy taking out this guy to really care. Oh. Oh, okay. Easy enough. Yeah, we, we still don't have that thing that I'd like to have. Yeah, start whacking around and... Never mind, I guess I'll just die. After this level, I think we can actually go fight Mugshot, finally, and... Deal with him. Deal with his deal, I guess. His fight. Which may or may not be... Good. I may or may not, you know, get my what whooped pretty hard, though. I notice I do a lot better when I go in speed. 
Probably because I've done it so much. I kind of trust myself a little bit more with it. Which I know it's probably scary for some people, but for me, I, I can do it pretty well. Okay. Safe was... There it is. That's right. Yeah, see, this is what uh, the speed-up thing definitely helps with. Definitely helps it out. To enter the vault Let's do 999. Uh, oops, wrong buttons. Three, one, four. That was a little too high for that one. These things remind me of those things from Mega Man Bell Network with those passcodes you gotta put in. Sometimes you just gotta guess. Aha! Uh -huh. It's Sir Andrew Cooper's Thief Replica Technique. He used to make fake stand ups for himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. He's trying to put together a fake Sly Cooper. So basically, it's just, yeah, like it says, just a decoy. Or, in this case, a Ratchet and Clank decoy, I guess. Kind of. Well, it works the same way. It's the same thing. Both decoys. Oh, no wonder the thing was going with speed. But it does not work if somebody already sees you. Because that would be kind of silly. So. Yeah, if the enemies already probably see you, probably not going to come for you. Screw it. I don't like decoys. I don't know if that was obvious enough, but I, I ever since Ratchet and Clank, I just never really liked the decoy dummy stuff. They've never really been that useful to me, you know? Because then I got to, like, stake out or something, or wait for the enemy to kind of go hit that, and then I... This is pretty much pointless. In my eyes. So I'll take a hit. At least we have iframes, though. At least I put that in the game. Thank you, Sucker Punch, for thanking. That's what I think uh, more platform games need to start doing now. Even No matter how hard they are, just at least have some iframes to use to our advantage so that we can actually kind of cheat out the game a little bit. Well, uh, well, cheating it out, no, that's the wrong way to say it, but... What I mean is... Kind of using it to our advantage, I guess, giving the player an advantage over the game for once. Some platform games never give you an advantage, they just throw you in mobs of enemies and stuff and just kill you off that way. I guess we're supposed to go over here, and it seems like every time I record, there's always somebody getting hurt or in trouble or something. I realized that, like last time, like, like yesterday, I recorded. Same thing happened. Today I recorded. Same thing happened. So there we go. Now we open up Mugshot's little deal. I think we've gotten every single level pretty much completed. Let's check. Just me on the safe side here. Check, check, check. Check, check. Check, 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 check. We're good. Alright, yep. Every single level is done except for the last one, which we are going to go do right now. And we'll leave this world for good. Unless I do the time trials, which I probably won't, but... Let's see how long I can, let's see how long this takes me to kick his butt. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and <laughs> and and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick? Hey, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know that Singus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! Okay, so yes, he is... This probably was a bad idea to start it off in this video, though. Instead of we're gonna have a cutscene, probably, like, right after it. Um, to do this, I don't know why I keep using the fast-forward button. That probably isn't the best of ideas. You have to hit these, uh... These mirrors right here. And they kind of, like, shine... On these, uh, crystals. And... I guess... Supposedly, he doesn't like the light, which is odd. I mean, it's just a dog thing, but I, I don't even know. The game probably doesn't even have an idea. 
I think he can also shoot the uh, mirrors himself. Just got to do this about three or so times. Uh, yeah, it'll change. It'll, it'll change. You'll see. See, we're going up right now, and then we'll go up to like another floor, and we'll have to do uh, even more mirrors, and they'll and they'll be more difficult than the last ones. But the best way to do um, all this good stuff is to just just avoid his gunfire and just you know keep hitting. Just, just know when to jump above the gunfire, because you can end up like me and kind of screwing yourself up a little bit, I guess. So yeah, now we gotta do all this crap again. Be nice if the game kind of gave me a horseshoe for free, but no, can't do that. Nope, can never. Yeah, you can't even speed up the cutscenes either, so there's really no point in worrying about that. Good thing I got a spare rep. Ugh. By the way, he does look like an odd boss. I I know. <clears throat> God dang it! This is what I fucking hate about him. um the winners. Double springtime too, and I'm still stuck with this stupid, crappy throat problem going on here. Coffin fanatic deal. I try not to do it as much as I can, but it's kind of hard when you know you talk so constantly that it just comes right back up. All right, so there's a second wave down. This one is the hardest one, and I'll show you why. First, what you do is you um, you wait for him to shoot and then you whack it and then you continue on and you get behind another mirror wait for him to shoot whack that one keep going trust me this will be the most efficient way to do this because he can shoot the mirrors and he can knock them back he can knock them back to the original form so we don't want that at all we actually just want him to just not do that so we just let him hit the ones that are already kind of blank Anyway, facing our way, we just kind of smack it that way. There you go. See, all done, pretty much. This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you beating a big, strong bruiser like me? It ain't right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're going to have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. The mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contained an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. All right, so... There we go, we basically completed all the safes for Sunset Snake Eyes, or should I say Mesa City, and we also beat the level in just the right amount of time. So the next level is going to be going to Haiti next. Uh, this is going to be more of a swampy kind of level, and if you like swamp levels, you'll like this one. Every single one has kind of like a theme, kind of. I mean, this one has like a water theme. This one, well, this one's more of, well, yeah, because, you know... Frog, Rayleigh, you know, Riley, whatever his name is. This one's kind of more of a, a rooftop theme. Actually, this one's more of a industrial theme? No, that's kind of hard to say. Factory theme, I guess. This one's more of a, well, kind of out in the deserty ish rooftop theme going on there. Back alleyways. This one's more of a swamp theme, definitely. That's the thing that I can tell about that one. But... Without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time we'll play some more Sly Cooper. As always, take care, everybody.